Canvas is the latest smart home lighting solution from Nanoleaf. These glowing tiles pull double duty as a smart light and an accent piece. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider. And Nanoleaf introduced the Canvas at CES 2018, and we've been eagerly awaiting its arrival ever since. We were huge fans of the Nanoleaf Aura, which has since been renamed the light panels, but their triangular design made them less ideal for a lot of homes. Canvas takes a more traditional approach using square tiles instead that can be expanded up to 500 different tiles. Nanoleaf has really optimized the design with the canvas compared to the Aura. There's been a lot of little improvements along the way. Included in the box is everything you need to get started. They call it the Smarter Kit, and you're going to get some links, some adhesives, nine different tiles, and the power adapter. These small links are what attach each tile to one another. They're all connected together from the get-go, and they easily snap apart, and you can slide them into place. These things are a little small, so once you get them open, be sure not to lose them. You can always pick up new ones from Nanoleaf, but no one really wants to have to get additional parts. You want to get this smart light up and going as quick as possible. Next up are the adhesives. These panels attach to your wall using adhesives, which are essentially just command strips, but they're just branded with Nanoleaf's name. You use these to adhere your tiles to the wall, and if you ever need to remove them, you move, or you just want to switch it up with a new design, they simply remove without leaving any residue behind. That said, you don't really want to have to buy this many command strips every time you move these tiles around, so that is a bit of a bummer. Included in the starter kit, you get 9 tiles, and they are quite large, so you can create a fairly sizable display with just those 9 tiles, but of course you can pick up expansions and make that go even further. Each tile has four different spots on there where those links can connect together. They are in kind of different spots, so you have to be really cognizant of where those links go when you're setting this thing up. Best thing we can say is plan ahead. Lay everything out ahead of time and be sure you know where everything is going before you lock it into place. And of course we have the power adapter. This thing is a lot smaller than what we saw with the Nanoleaf Aura and the light panels. It connects easily to the side the same way as before, but that cord goes pretty much flush, making it very much out of the way. The power adapter also has the HomeKit pairing code on the back of it, so you don't have to worry about taking anything off and looking behind or saving it. It's really just right there on the wall outlet. All of the tiles are the same, sans for one. One of them has a series of controls right there on the bottom that lets you go to different rhythm scenes, shuffle the scenes that you've got, go to the next color scene, adjust the brightness, or turn it on and off. All of the scenes are actually stored on the canvas itself, so you don't need your phone to control it. In fact, there's a bunch of different ways you can control this thing, from Siri, to the app, to the Nanoleaf remote, to those physical buttons on the tiles themselves. To get going, simply plug in that first tile and it'll light up. It already looks really cool, but it gets even more fun when you add additional tiles to it, which is obviously what we're going to do since we've got nine out of the gate. Now, to kind of figure out what you want your pattern to look like, you can start off by using the Welcome Getting Started Guide. There's a few different options in here for some different sizes of options, but that's really not going to do it. The best way to kind of visualize what you're going through is actually lay it out on a table or use the Nanoleaf app, which has a layout designer, and you can even use it with AR mode. Apple's AR kit allows you to actually put your tiles up on the wall and see how they look before you even have to commit to anything. And it'll also note where all the links go so you know exactly how to line it up. If you want to get a good idea, lay it on a table and try it before you put it up on the wall. And make sure you get the one with the power Start it up kind of first, so you have some power running through your lights, and you're making sure they're actually lighting up. When we were putting ours up, sometimes it was a little funky trying to get the link actually into the correct slot. Sometimes it went behind it, and the panel didn't light up. So make sure you have a light going through so you know you're getting power to every panel, or you're going to be really kicking yourself when you have to try to find out where it's not working and where it's not connected. Considering these use adhesives, it would really suck to have to go through and remove a bunch of panels just to fix one link connector. These panels are also touch sensitive, so you can actually press on them to do a variety of different functions. There's a few different games included, but they really weren't all that exciting. Whack-a-mole, memory, kind of boring and a little bit gimmicky, but it was a neat effect. If you press on the tiles, it does send off a ripple across the wall. It's definitely neat, but not something that we're going to jump over. Each tile receives three different adhesives, so attach the adhesives on the corners and then slide it into place. Firmly press against the wall to finish the adhesive and you're all set. 
When you're ready, just go through the HomeKit process to pair with your phone. Then the cameras will show in the Home app, though there are limitations. For starters, whenever you change the color in the Home app, the entire thing changes to that color and you can't choose individual tiles. To get around this, you simply have to use the Nanoleaf app to create a scene and then you can invoke that scene from the Home app or through Siri. Otherwise, you can still change the color as a whole and the brightness. You can also tie it into a bunch of other home automation systems, tie it into a motion sensor, or have it turn on and off when you leave or based on a certain time of day. Perhaps in the bedroom, wake up to a vibrant sunrise. In the kitchen, have the lights being more cool during the day and warmer during the evenings, or use it as a nightlight in a kid's bedroom. Within the Nanoleaf app, things can get a little complicated. There are a lot of settings and configurations that you can get in there and change if you want to. As far as the basics go, right on top you can see we have the canvas, turn it on and off, change the brightness, and choose the scene and lighting colors down below. Pretty easy as far as the basics go, but if you want to get in there, you can change the different way the lights animate, how long before things animate, and a bunch more settings. If you don't wonder about getting in over your head, stick with just choosing scenes, and if you want to grab new ones, you can get them from the Discover tab, where you can actually download already created ones from other people, and you can go ahead and edit those instead of having to start your own from scratch. As we swipe across, you can see all the different genres of stuff between interactive games such as memory and whack-a-mole, rhythm-based ones that cause your lights, your canvas, to react to any music that's playing, which is pretty awesome when you're having a party, or just simple hues of white. Compared to the original Aura, the canvas is amazing. They've optimized so many little things. The tiles look really cool. We kind of love the little pinwheel effect that's right there in the center. The power adapter is smaller, the links somehow seem a little bit more reliable, and the actual power cord blends in quite a bit more. You don't have to have the external rhythm adapter to make it sync up to your music. So overall, our only complaint is it can get really expensive. Some of the coolest designs that Nanoleaf shows off requires dozens, if not hundreds, of tiles to pull off, and that adds up really quickly, making your budget huge. If you're not willing to add on in multiple expansion packs, then be sure you're comfortable starting off with just those nine tiles. The tiles, again, are fairly large, so you can create a quite big piece of artwork before you have to add on those expansion packs. But if there's a certain design or shape or creature that you want to create, make sure you're comfortable with adding on those expansions. So what do you think of Canvas? Let us know in the comments and grab yours from the link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.